This will be a brief overview of the Times Guide. If this is your first time using the Times Guide, you must set up your profile details. To do this, click on the Profile button. This page will show your current profile details. As you can see, the hourly rate and other details are currently not set. From here, you can now fill in your details and most importantly, your hourly rate, so the Times Guide can use it in its calculations. Once you are happy with your details, click the Update Details button. To search for a specific vehicle repair time, first you must select the make of the vehicle. So in the box, click on the arrow and scroll down to the make you require. Then, move across to the model and select a specific model, year, and engine you require. For this example, we will choose a V6 VE Commodore. Now press the Display Operations button. That will take you to the results page. The service times are broken down into convenient subheadings. So if you click on the black bar, it will open up to give you more details. Clicking the black bar again will close it back down. For this example, we will be repairing the brake systems. So we are going to be replacing the front and the rear brake pads and some brake fluid. So we will go into disc brakes. Here we have friction pads, R&R, &R, all wheels. If we click on the grey bar here, it will then add the time to the total time. If we have made a mistake, we click the grey bar again to remove the time from the total. So now we need to bleed the brake system and change the brake fluid. So we click on the brakes and click Bleed Hydraulic System. This job has a question mark on it. If we click on the question mark, it gives us an overview of what is involved in the job. Click the question mark again to get rid of it. So again, we want to add this job, so we click on the grey bar and it will add the estimate to the total. So let's imagine that we have a brake bleeding tool that will half the estimated time required. If we click on the spanner in the corner, we can select a custom value, and then we can enter the time we estimate it will take. Make sure you click the save icon to save the time entered. It will then amend the total time. Once we have selected the jobs we wish to do, we can see the total in the top right. We wish to give this to the customer as a hard copy estimate, we need to scroll to the top where we have an area that we can fill in the customer details. Once the customer details have been entered, you can now generate a PDF by clicking on the PDF button. If this is the first time you've used this feature, you may need to allow pop-ups in your browser. In this particular browser, we go up to the top right-hand corner and select Always Allow Pop-ups from Tech Online. This will now generate the PDF with the estimate that includes the customer details you entered and the job details as well. You can then print this PDF by going to the bottom right hand corner in Chrome and clicking the print icon, or going to File, then Print in most other browsers. We also strongly recommend that you save the estimate to a safe location on your computer. Once you're done with the PDF, click the X to navigate back. On the Times Guide homepage, there is a feedback button if you wish to leave feedback or comment about the service. Thank you for your time.